It's time for the final day of the discard challenge. What is going on everybody and welcome to the final day of discard week. That is right, we have come to the final deck that we are going to be doing for this discard challenge. Now if you guys do not know exactly what we are doing here, let me briefly explain. Essentially what we did is pose a challenge to you guys, our discord community, asking if you could make a deck that is going to discard the most number of cards out of the opponent's hand. Specifically the hand and specifically our deck has to be the one to do it. If they play a tormenting voice or a faithless looting or anything like that does not count it has to be via our deck so we tasked that to you guys and a number of you guys stepped up and submitted some decks we chose three of those decks from three different people and we are pinning those decks against each other this week now we've already had Spinaraptor who who put up a very strong contention on day one with 10 cards discarded right off the bat however Death's Ace came back on Wednesday and really stole the show by getting I believe 18 total? I hope I am correct in saying that. I believe it was 18 total, so right now we are looking to beat that number. Uh, and today we've got a brand new deck to do that. Now guys, just as a reminder, we uh, in the last uh, discard part 2, we actually announced the challenge for next week, which is to gain as much life as possible. Our goal is to gain as, as high a life total as we can get. Whoever gets the highest is going to win. Now what do you win? That is a fantastic question. The winner is going to get five free mystery proxies sent directly to them. Now, if you want to see which proxies are eligible, you can go onto our website, itresolvesmtg.com. We have got a proxy gallery there. Anything labeled available now is going to be up for grabs. You cannot request any, but we are going to send you five of those and they are going to be awesome. So do keep that in mind. And guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this one. Now before we jump into this deck, just to be clear, if you would like to submit a deck, you can do so via that Discord link down below. We have got a challenge uh, set or a, uh, a stream set up for you guys to submit your decks there, so please do check that out, we'd greatly appreciate it. Now, let's look at Modern Uro, who submitted actually a couple different decks, but this is the one that really caught my eye. This is a Peer Into the Abyss deck, which if you'll recall is the way Death's Ace got a lot of discards in a single turn, and we're going to try that again today. We're going to try and pit this one against that. Now this is a much more focused list. This is Mono Black. Uh, obviously has a lot of the usual contenders, Inquisition, Thoughtseize, Vicious Rumors, all the stuff we kind of expected to see. However, this one goes a lot further than that. We also have the Burglar Rats. We have got Black Cat here, so when it dies, target opponent discards a card at random. Uh, we have Davriel, uh, as well as Liliana, Waker of the Dead, all cards that help us discard from the opponent's hand. Now, crucially, this also is very, very keen on winning the game. Uh, we've got Underworld Dreams here, so whenever an opponent draws a card, it deals one damage to that player, and Peer into the Abyss in combination can really take a player down pretty quickly, but crucially, that's not the goal. We have to remember the goal is to discard, not win the game, so we'll see how that works. Uh, we do have Grim Tutor access in this list, which is quite nice because depending on what we need, we may be able to pull that card out. Uh, and then of course, Raider's Wake as well to help us uh, hopefully discard some cards over the course of the game. Now what really helps out with this list, and I do appreciate the, uh, the thought behind this, we only have 20 lands, but we have got Cabal Stronghold in here as well as Phyrexian Tower. Some really, really nice options. I will say the only trick here, uh, they put a lot of lands in here, which are all very, very strong lands, but that means we only have eight swamps. So this Cabal Stronghold is gonna take a little bit of time to get going, but hopefully we can make that happen. Uh, the, uh, the Phyrexian Tower in combination with Black Cat is actually quite nice though. And you can tell there's a lot of thought behind this list. So Modern Oro, thank you so much for the suggestion. Without further ado guys, we're gonna send this through three games and see if we can top Death's Ace with 18 discards. All right, guys, here we are for game number one, and this is actually kind of a tricky hand. Uh, the reason being, turn one, we can play the Lockthwain, which gives us gives us our that, uh, that black mana, but then these actually don't produce any color until we get a basic swamp, really, and until then, it's going to be potentially a while. But you know what? We're going to try it. We're going to try. I believe in us, Modern Euro, so good luck to you, my friend. Hopefully, we can take down Death's Ace uh, and see if uh, see if you're going to win some free proxies. Now, again, guys, we're going to go through three best of one games with these deck lists. We're, we're making sure we give them every possible opportunity uh, just to make sure we're not... Um, and let's be mana efficient here, uh, shall we? That'll get a card out of hand right there. That's number one. 
Uh, but I do want to give everybody the best chance possible to, to see what the decks can do. I don't think it's fair to just, you know, run through one game and assume that that's all it is. So I like this, uh, this play. We will see what we can do. This is going to be an Inquisition, which does give us a second card out of hand here. Ooh, and a good one at that. Uh, very, very happy to see that. And that is two cards right off the bat. Uh, not bad so far, Modern Oro. Uh, they also don't have a ton that they can do. Ooh, that's very helpful, honestly. Uh, all right, let's go ahead. Let's Vicious Rumors first. Let's force another discard here. This is going to slow them down just a little bit more, potentially. And then we are going to Thought Seize. Uh, and I, I like that idea. I think that's very, very good. So that is card number three i believe uh and they did discard a land here so let's go ahead let's thought seize let's see what they got showdown or goldspan dragon um both of these are terrible but let's keep in mind we are not trying to win the game we are trying to discard cards so i'm actually going to take showdown here uh because that gives them access to more answers and stuff like that that we don't really want them to have but that does take our total up to four for this first game so far not doing too bad marnero we're we're getting there there's a Davriel as well. That's very, very good. Um, and you know what? We are going to play the Raiders Wake, I think. Uh, go ahead and force an, a, another discard here, which is also going to force them to lose two life, which isn't bad, honestly. They discarded that Goldspan Dragon. That puts us up to five. Five cards, guys. We are doing okay here. Uh, there's a Davriel. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and play the Davriel. We're going to force a discard, which puts us up to six. That also means they lose some life, and we're going to play a black cat here. Uh, we'll go ahead and pass here, though. There's not a huge reason to, to force this. It's another two damage. Modern Uro, I think your deck is very good, uh, despite the fact... So keep in mind here, guys, that Faithless Looting does not count. They do lose life for doing that, but it does not count towards our total because that is their card. They control it, uh, so it doesn't count for us here. But truthfully, that's okay. We're actually okay with that because uh, we're doing okay here, guys. We're really not doing too bad. Um, I think I'm all too happy to double block here, to be honest. I don't really need the the cards to attack with anymore because we're kind of in decent shape here. Um, oh, we can't do that. Well, can we do that? Technically? No, we can't. All right. Uh, so we'll just pass. Pretty straightforward turn, to be honest. We can't really do too much, but they are on a clock. I mean, we have to consider the fact that they are just on a very good clock. This is going to kill them. <laughs> so we've won the game, uh, which Modern Uro... Should count for maybe a little extra, but it's not 18 cards extra. And so the 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 truth is that was a very good attempt, but the total was only six on game one. Let's go ahead and jump into game two and see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are for game number two, and we have an interesting hand here. Uh, not the best. If we had a basic land, we would be in so much better shape, but we're actually going to try and keep this. This is the problem I was talking about in the deck building process where we just don't have very many basic lands. Uh, and not that that's the end of the world, but it does mean that these openers like this are a little bit tricky because we don't actually have a black source to play. Uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and uh, how do we want to do this? We're going to be mana efficient, I believe, and we're just going to we're just going to go ahead and throw a rat out there, which is our first discard. Keep in mind, after this game, we will do one more and hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, to beat uh, Death Sace or at least give it a shot. Keep in mind, they have a 100 and some odd card deck here. Uh, so we got lots of discard opportunity. Uh, peer into the abyss is going to be killer if we can get it. Ah, tasty. OK, so uh good and bad things here uh on the bad end we don't really have a great uh play but i think we can actually make them do some crazy stuff so here let's do this we're gonna play this uh we're gonna attack in and what this does next turn is set us up super super well to be able to kind of ramp into some stuff by killing the black cat uh there's a zuza sure makes a lot of sense looks like the gates deck perhaps um so we're going to do this. We're going to sacrifice that uh, black cat and we're just going to empty their hand this turn. That is card number two. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, and what we're going to do 
is play a burglar rat. Get another card out of hand. And then I think we're going to go ahead and Inquisition. Maybe we should have Inquisitioned first, actually. That might have been a mistake. But that is card number three. Uh, let's Thoughtseize. Let's be safe. If this is a land, it's okay, but perfect. That puts us up to four. Modern Uro, we're, we're getting there, my friend. We're not doing too bad here. They are down to basically top decking all the time, which is great. Uh, they do have Yorian here, which is a little scary, but not the end of the world. Uh, and the question is, what do we do here? Uh, and I think the answer is very sadly, uh, we're going to have to kill one of these. And I think we're just going to have to go get a land here, guys. We just need a land. Um, that's so sad, unfortunately, but it's just what we kind of need to do. We have not been able to play a land at all uh, for the last few turns. We're not going to Inquisition. We know what's in hand, so there's no reason to... Uh, and they may just play Yorian here to try and finish us off pretty quickly, given we're not doing a ton. Uh, but, I mean, we've got four cards out of hand. we got a long way to go, but if we can get to a pier, uh, we might actually get somewhere. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. There's Lily. That's going to be a bit scary, uh, truthfully. We'll go ahead and discard an Inquisition, since it really isn't doing anything at this point anyway. They also have to discard that Yorian, which is interesting. Uh, there's Davriel, um, which is pretty helpful, to be honest, and I think that's the way we're going to go. So go ahead and play Davriel uh, and pass. This is going to deal two damage to them. Don't have a card to discard, so we're not going to activate the ability, but that's okay. That's okay. It's a clock. This and Underworld Dreams does allow us to, to kind of clock them a little bit here. Um, it's not great, but it is a clock. Um, gonna discard that Inquisition as well. Uh, it's at this point that Inquisition really is at its worst, um, given they have no cards in hand. Anything like a Thought Caesar and Inquisition is not great. And this is where I wanted to task you guys with being as creative as possible. I wanted to see what you guys could do. Uh, that is a legendary land, which does kind of set us back a little bit. Um, I mean, we're going to do it, but it's not great. Um, We'll just pass here. This really opens them up to attack, but I think they were going to anyway, or at least they could have anyway. They weren't going to at least, but. Uh, we'll discard the tower since we really don't need it at this point. And they're still not attacking, uh, which is fine by me, honestly. Uh, dealing two damage. I'm surprised they're not. I mean, it's free damage. Like, they could at least be killing the Davriel. Uh, they could have killed it by now, I believe. This would have been the turn to do it. Um, all right, so they do get Yorian back. A uh, little curious as to why they actually went for it there. They didn't have to. Um, sure. I mean, that's fine. Uh, they really didn't have to, um, but it's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. All right, there's Castle Lockthwain. Uh, I mean, it's a card, so we're going to take it. Um, yep. Deal two. I think our opponent is playing with a very silly deck. I don't think it's a very... Uh, it's got some powerful cards, obviously, but I don't think it's necessarily the best way that they are optimizing it, but that's okay. We're here to have some fun, guys. All right, they do get the emblem. Let's see what they take. I'm assuming Yorian. Yep. Uh, they do get to reactivate their Garrick, I believe, if they would like. Uh, but we'll see. There we go. Taking down Davriel. That's fine. Okay. Uh, and guys, I think we're we're kind of in bad shape here. I'll be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a card because we kind of need to. <laughs> uh, yeah. And that's it. That's game two done. We only got to four that time. Modern Uro was kind of hoping we'd get a little further than that, but you know what? It's okay. We've got one more chance to hit that pier into the abyss. I understand we only have it as like a two of in the deck, uh, but I believe in us. I think we can do it. So let's go ahead. Let's see if we can get it in game three. All right, guys, this is our final game. Let's see if we can do it. This is actually a decent starting hand. We've got the Thoughtseize, the Vicious Rumors with the Black Hat, and then uh, hopefully some good ramp cards later. So let's go ahead and do this. I am going to Thoughtseize first. Uh, this just ensures that if they have an early play, we can kind of take it out of play. Uh, and let's see. This is an interesting one. Um, 
I think it's very safe to say we take the uh, the feet here. They only have one land though, uh, aside from I suppose the Valakid Awakening. Um, maybe that's what we take. You know what? I'm gonna be aggressive. I'm gonna take the Valakid Awakening. I don't know if that's 100% correct. I'll be honest, but you know what? It's fine, because we're not even looking to win the game anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and play the Black Cat here, just to get a turn to play down. They can very easily, if they do draw a land, yeah, there we go. They could just Fire Prophecy this, and that's fine. Um, I was trying to punish them if they just didn't draw a land, uh, which I thought was kind of an interesting way to go, but it's okay. All right, sure. Uh, we're going to Vicious Rumors for card number two. Uh, let's go ahead and mark both of those down just to be safe. Um, so that'll get something out of hand here. I'm curious to see what, probably a Fire Prophecy? Yeah, okay. And we got a land off the top, which is actually really good given their current situation. Um, little worried about the, the feet, not gonna lie. It's a little scary. Uh, there's a Burglar Rat, just gonna play it out. Guys, we don't have enough lands in these decks. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We just do not have enough lands. We've got to peer into the abyss and we only have 20 lands. That seems wrong to me. Uh, looks like they took a Rage Blood Shaman out. Very interesting. Okay, so this is just Minotaur tribal silly stuff, which is great. I love it. It's probably going to win, um, but it's just kind of funny. Uh, sure. Get to cycle through the deck slightly. They put the... Oh, interesting. They put the feet at the bottom, I believe. That's curious. Okay. Uh, well, good news here. We actually just get to play Lily. Uh, so let's do this. This is going to discard a card at random uh, from their hand. Great. It was a feat. Fantastic. And then we're just going to play Lily and make them discard again. Because why not? Seems like the right thing to do. Seems like the right thing to do. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to discard the dreams here. Um... But crucially, we do get another card out of their hand, which puts us up to five. And they took the war cry. Very cool. Okay. So now the hope is that we actually can ultimate Lily at some point here and just start replaying some of our stuff. That would be really fun. Uh, and I'm curious to know, what is the play if we do take something with Grim Tutor here? Um, I guess we can't right away. Let's thought seize. Let's see what happens. See what they have. But we're gonna do this first. Perfect, okay, so we're gonna take that. That's a six card out of hand. And then here, I think we just do this again. Uh, and I actually think, I think we keep the pier. I honestly think we do. Um, that gets the sixth card out of hand. We Modern Era, we are up to the same score that we got on the game one, but hopefully we can get there with this one. They're, they're stalling out a little bit here, uh, which is great for us. That's absolutely fantastic. Hopefully they just can't play very much. There's another land, not great, but there's still a, a card straggling in that hand there. Uh, so maybe we can get them. Ooh, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to have to discard our own here uh which is fine i think uh it does get a card out of hand for them that puts us up to seven so we are officially at our highest score with this deck uh so far modern Euro. so i'm feeling pretty good about it but what can we do what can we steal because we do get to steal a thing they just give up well, that kind of sucks. I think we could. I don't know that we could have gotten there to the to the full eighteen mark. To be honest, modern Euro, uh, but we did get pretty close. We got seven, uh, and you know what? For that trouble, we're gonna open up a strict fave pack just for you. Just, this is for you, modern Euro. Uh, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our final discussion. All right, guys, so uh, let's summarize very quickly how today went. Modern Euro put together a very, very fine and very well well thought about list. I think there were some some oddities that I would have tried to fix, uh, mainly t talking about the land base, I think, most of all. Um, while it had some great lands and Modern Euro, I do appreciate your thought process on putting those in there. I maybe would have tapered it back just a little bit to put a, a few extra basics in there, like the Castle Lock Twains, maybe only put two in. That way we could have upped it to 
10 swamps, maybe even just throwing two extra lands in there to have a couple of extra, because again, we are trying to hit that peer into the abyss, and that's kind of tricky to do. Uh, but all that to say, a very fun list, and not bad overall. Uh, game one, we had six. Uh, game two, we had four discards, and then game three, we put up a very respectable seven discards. That's not bad, honestly. Uh, overall, very, very good, but that does mean Death's Ace you're our winner, my friend. You have officially won the Discard Week Challenge. Congratulations, getting 18 discards with that Peer Into the Abyss. That's pretty amazing. Uh, so congratulations to you. I will be reaching out to you directly, uh, so that way we can get you that mystery proxy pack. But thank you all so much. Uh, a huge, huge special thank you to to, to Spinaraptor, Death Ace, and Modern Uro for submitting decks to this. Remind, uh, just as a reminder, you can submit decks at any time uh, in our Discord. Now, again, next week's challenge is a life gain. Make sure you submit a deck there. Keep in mind the, the goal is not to win. The goal is to gain as much life as possible. Uh, arguably, if you do that correctly, we might just win anyway. But regardless, it's going to be a fun time, guys. I really appreciate your support on this brand new series. I think this is a fun way to get you guys involved, have some fun together, uh, and give out some fun prizes. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And again, congratulations to Death's Ace. I'll see you guys next week for the life gain challenge.